Thanks, babe. So we have both dogs back in the trailer. There's the Brady. How's life? Things been going well for you? Yeah? And then this little guy under here is doing well. We're keeping him calm. What we have to do with the dogs is I have to take them out separately to go to the bathroom. They do pretty well at staying calm in here. I take Brady to the pen and then whenever he's done, I bring him back in and then I take Buzz out for a walk uh, to do his business. So we take Buzz back on July 17th. So that's next week. We do his, basically his second, possibly third shots. Um, to continue breaking up his heartworms and then he has to stay two nights and then we're not sure how much longer he has to stay quiet or calm after that. But it is nice to have them both back in here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You're cute. <laughs> but right now I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna lift legs and then we will talk to you guys after. So workout was great. Um, I actually did like 75% of the workout that I had planned because Matt does want to come back later. So I got most of that done. A little bit of cardio while I catched up on some catched while I caught up on some YouTube. Um, there's this uh, YouTuber that I've been following for a while, but I finally got a chance to check out his videos. It's called um, his channel is Simnet Nutrition. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but he's an amazing athlete and all of the food that he makes is like so fresh and colorful and just looks so good it makes me want to go make like a big salad um so i was watching some of his videos while i was uh, on the elliptical i'm gonna run grab some starbucks and i have not had food yet i'm not quite hungry um coffee will probably hold me over until i can make a meal at home but i'm gonna grab some starbucks matt needs the car he's got a meeting to go to at noon so i will see you guys at work Hey, I have a mobile order for Ryan Blair. All right, we have that ready for you. Thank you. No problem. So I've been listening to The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle or Eckhart Tolle, but that book is it's actually really awesome for reminding you to just literally live in the now. As a person with severe anxiety, I worry a lot. It's a great reminder that you can't always change the situation that you're in. You know, if there's something frustrating you or worrying you, wasting your energy and your mindset on worrying or being frustrated or being angry won't make it any better. It's just a great reminder of that and I tie it into um, my faith as a Christian and you know it's it's just really good reminder so I definitely recommend it. Take it with a grain of salt because there are some things that are kind of out there if you're not into that stuff but like I said a lot of great reminders in that book. Oh hey! <laughs> nice and slow down the stairs. bit. Alright guys, so I made my lunch and I've got a huge bowl of greens here. It's like spinach and arugula and some kale I think. Chickpeas, a big roasted microwave roasted sweet potato, some homemade hummus and grilled corn that was left over from my parents house and then some watermelon. So that's going to be the start of my lunch. I'll see how this feels and then I might eat something else. All right, guys, and then after that, I made what I call protein sludge. So this is basically like a protein pudding. It's a scoop of protein powder, and then you add um, almond, cashew milk, a little bit of water, and you mix until you get like a pudding or a sludge type of consistency. 
This is one of my favorite sweet recipes, sweet treats, desserts, whatever you want to make. I always make this as a base. So I did that. I added some chia seeds for some healthy fats and omega-3 fatty acids. And then from there, I added some frozen berries. This adds a nice kind of tartness to it. You mix it all together. It's really, really good. And then I did add a couple tablespoons of this better than peanut butter spread. It's basically like a low-fat peanut butter spread. It kind of reminds me of like a peanut butter frosting. So I mixed that all together for this delicious bowl of just, oh, it's so good, you guys. Definitely try it out. We had this after my lunch. So I guess this is technically part of my lunch as well. Um, it was a pre-workout for a second workout, pre-workout snack. How's it feel to be off work? Feels okay to be off work. Oh. I'm never off work, but the temperature says it's 85, but I think the truck is lying. I think the truck's lying, dude. It's gotta be at least 100. It's like 85 past 20. Ugh. <laughs> nice. It's your wallet. I think it is. Yeah. <sighs> Surprise. So that is oh RFID. So it's a security wallet, but it's also leather that's not made from an animal. All right. We're ready? Ready. All right, I got the wrong spot. All right. Hey, Brown. Yeah, because mine, like, I have a tendency to almost go wider. <laughs> it's like pulling me forward because I have no, like... Do it again. My legs keep going, like... Do it again. <laughs> you got to grab... You got to grip the ass with your butt cheeks. <laughs> Squeeze the cheeks. Squeeze the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> turf. It's not working. Grab some grab turf. Like <laughs> I want to see turf in those cheeks. <laughs> You're going to see something nice. <laughs> Did you like the workout? Um, yeah, actually, it wasn't bad. I was really surprised by it. So our friend AJ was there. I blame you. I feel like family pet because I'm in the house to find a spot. But... Yeah, that's a few right now. Yeah. Like burgundy. He just so happened to be there whenever we got there. So we were like, hey, we don't know what we're going to do. You want to work out with us? So we did little circuits. So our first circuit, we did four sets of lat pull-down machine. I did pull-ups, lateral raises, and jump rope. Of course, his are a little bit modified, but that's what we did. And then our second workout was 30-second sprint on the Stairmaster, um, dips, and TRX rows. And then we went outside, and we did tire flips, burpees, and rope slams, or whatever you want to call it. Just battle battle rope. ropes. There we Just go. Rope. I did that while sitting. Yeah. Okay. Right now we're going to go to Target because this guy, even though we went to the grocery store yesterday, this guy wants more food. So, I just can't remember what we have at home. I don't remember. We're going to have soup for dinner. Who soup. eats soup in the middle of summer? We went by Tatsuya, which is a ramen place, and there's a line out the door. I just can't do it. I don't want to sweat while I eat. No, our AC is so good. Are we arguing about yeah. temperature right now? Sweating while uh, you eat soup. You you go work out in, in the heat. But there's I don't nice want to sweat while I eat. Outside. It's like you go to a workout expecting to sweat. Not me. I don't <laughs> go to eat expecting to sweat. Well, it depends on what I'm eating. We're going to get a few things from Target. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you guys what we're having for dinner. What? Was that the dream? Yeah, that's that's the dream. You work your hands down to the bone. <laughs> and that's what you get. You keep that in mind out there. All right, okay, this is good. <laughs> Don't look at me right now. <laughs> oh man! It's like my whole life is relaxation. You got the the hammock over there. You got the lawn chairs. Living the dream. Living some kind of dream. <laughs> All right, let's go feed the animals and then feed ourselves. You guys waiting for your corn? Your antlers are beautiful. Look at those. Hey. 
Okay. Two orange cups are on the bar. So we got our deer corn. Okay, here you go. All right, let me, hold on, let me share with everybody. Oh, hello. What, it's the same as what's on the ground. And here's Charles. Woo! Rude. What is going on here? What? Dang. All right, guys, so I know that I only ate two big meals today, but this was my dinner. I wanted another big bowl of goodness and colors and micronutrients, so I had that same spring mix. I had, I think this was half a can of chickpeas, some more homemade hummus, a ton of rice, uh, brown rice. It was just a microwave bag of brown rice and a lot of those mini sweet bell peppers. And so you can see this is a huge amount of volume. I was actually pretty full after this, but I knew that I needed to eat a bit more. So I made another bowl of that protein sludge that I showed you guys earlier. And this was actually just the exact same thing because I was really, really craving it. And I honestly prefer it to ice cream most of the time just because it's so delicious. And you can dress it up any way you want. You can add different kinds of fruits. You can add different kinds of nut butters. It's so delicious. So this was my dinner. And I would estimate that my calories were probably close to 2100 this day and including my coffee. All right, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. I know I don't do a lot of full day of eating videos anymore. I used to do a ton whenever I did just fitness videos, whenever this was just a fitness channel. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I will keep doing them. Just wanted to give a little disclaimer and let you guys know that my diet looks so different day to day. Like today's food. I ate a ton of like whole plant foods. I ate twice, I think I ate twice today, like two big high volume nutrient dense meals. I have some days like this and then I have some days when I wake up and I'm famished and I eat junk. Ice cream, I make pancakes. Not that pancakes are, are junk food, but my diet just varies so much day to day. Some days I eat a lot more protein, some days I eat less protein, some days I eat very high fat. Some days I think today I probably ate pretty low fat. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to find a diet and a lifestyle and an approach that works for you long term. If you can't see yourself eating that way, for the next 6, 12, 20 months, then don't eat that way. Don't put your diet into a box. I don't always eat the most nutritious food and that's okay because that's what keeps me happy and that's what keeps me on track long term. I have been through periods where I've restricted so badly with my food choices or with my diet that I've gone completely in the opposite direction. My mentality has been terrible with food so I just kind of feel it out day to day. And as far as tracking my macros and my intake goes, if I feel that I'm going too far in one direction, you know, with tracking my intake and getting obsessive, then I back off and I eat more intuitively. And that's what I did today. So like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I can definitely put more up if y'all are interested and I can include Matt's food too. I'd say Matt's diet is more of like the standard American diet. But of course it's vegan. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys like these videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Love to have you along and I will see you guys in the next video.